We talk about the idea of the sine to the m of x, cosine to the m, when, when both are actually even, right? So what if we wanted to integrate the idea of sine squared of x times cosine squared of x dx, okay? How do we, how do we integrate it, okay? Uh, the idea is, is that whenever we have some sort of even power, especially in this case when both are even, we use what's what, what we use our identities, okay? <coughs> and what we should know and should appreciate is that uh, sine squared of x is actually one minus cosine two x over two. So we've seen this before, and we know cosine squared of x is one plus cosine of 2x divided by 2, okay? So we need to remember these, okay? We need to remember these, okay, because these are going to become very important anytime we see odd powers, okay? And so if I'm looking at this, well, actually, I could replace these two with, with these identities here. And so if I look at this, sine squared of x, well, that's just 1 minus cosine 2, 2x divided by 2, and that's being multiplied by 1 plus cosine of 2x, divided by 2 dx, okay? And so if I'm looking at this, well, essentially I have a one half here, okay? And, and, and let me let me rewrite it so we could see. So this is actually equal to one half times one minus cosine of 2x times, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot my one half here, times one half multiplied by one plus cosine of 2x dx okay and so now it's, it, it becomes very clear that essentially i can multiply these out to give me a one fourth on the front so if i do that this becomes one fourth times the integral of one minus cosine of 2x i'm going to multiply that one plus cosine of 2x dx okay and so essentially what i have is one fourth being multiplied by, well, if I distribute these together, I get one. If I times one times cosine of two x, I get one plus cosine of two x. If I do this, I get negative cosine of two x. So they'll essentially cancel out. So the middle term is zero. Okay, so the only thing I left with is one minus negative cosine squared, uh, cosine two x times positive cosine two x. And that will give me a negative cosine squared of two x, okay? dx. So the only thing I did was just foil this out uh, with the middle term. You actually see that middle term will cancel out and it will get you to something like this. Okay. Now in this case, I'm just going to split up my integrals. So this will becomes one fourth times integral of one dx minus one fourth because their one fourth has to be distributed times cosine squared of two x dx. Okay. And so we know the integral of one, that's easy. What is the integral of this? Well, again, because of the fact that we have a squared term here, I'm gonna use the same, the same idea, the same um, double angle formula here, okay? And so if I look at that, this will become, my integral is given as one fourth times the integral of one dx minus one fourth times the integral. Now, we gotta be very careful here. We have a 2x here, and so we have to multiply these. So cosine squared of x is 1 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2. Because we have a 2x here, this actually will become 1 plus cosine to the fourth x, cosine 4x divided by 2 dx, okay? So at this point, we got to be very careful. We have a 2x here, so we they're being multiplied, so we get the cosine of 4x. You see, here's a cosine squared of x. Well, that's just 1x, so that's just cosine two effects, but because we have a two here, uh, they're actually being multiplied. So we got to put, you got to remember this four X here. And so essentially our integral, well, we know the integral of one, so that's just X. So this is one fourth X, okay, minus one fourth. Now, again, remember, essentially we had a one half here. So if I factor out the one half, this becomes one half times the integral of one plus cosine to the uh, cosine four X dx. Okay, so so I want that to be very care. I want that to be very. I want that. I want, I want for us to to be very careful that all I did there was just factor out my one half. And so if I look at this now, well, 
my integral is going to be given by 1 fourth x. Well, 4 times 2 is just 8. So this becomes negative 1 eighth times the integral of 1 dx. I'm just going to split this out. Okay. Minus 1 eighth times the integral of cosine to the 4x dx. So the only thing I did here was just multiply my two terms and then distribute it to both. Okay, so this is essentially a 1 eighth, negative 1 eighth. Distribute my negative 1 eighth to the x, and distribute my negative 1 eighth to the cosine 4x. Okay. And so if I then look at this, well, what's my integral of cosine to the 4x? Well, we know this is 1 fourth x minus 1 eighth x. Okay. So that's 1 fourth x minus 1 eighth x. Okay. And uh, uh, so we're here, okay? And so then this becomes negative 1 eighth multiplied by, well, what's my integral of cosine to the fourth x? We know the integral of cosine to the fourth x is just uh, sine to the fourth x. Okay, but remember, we have a four here. So we got to multiply by one fourth to cancel that out. Okay, so we, we got to multiply by one fourth to cancel that out, and we simply just add our plus c. So, uh, so rewriting the integral, let's see. so so rewriting the integral, uh, my integral now is going to be given by well one fourth x minus one eighth x. Uh, hopefully, you could see here. So 1 fourth x minus 1 eighth x, that's just 1 eighth x, okay? And 8 times 4 is actually 32. So this is 1 over 32 sine 4x plus c, okay? So, well, that's the, integral, that's the integral of this, okay? But the idea is that I want you to realize that whenever you have both even powers, uh, in this case, use the double angle formulas, okay? And so, uh, so sine squared of x, cosine squared of x. We're gonna use that, okay? We're gonna use that, okay? And so I think I have another problem here. And so what if, and I'm not gonna do this one, uh, simply because I don't think your teacher will give you anything that as long as this, but I want you to get the idea. So what if on a test, well, probably won't be on a test, but what if we wanted to integrate this? How would we set it up? Well, again, both powers are even, right? So if I'm looking at this, we know this is one minus cosine of two X divided by two. Okay. And look, now we have cosine to the fourth of X. Well, we know cosine squared of X is actually one plus cosine two X divided by two. But remember, this is cosine squared of X. And if we square this, this is actually cosine to the fourth of X. Okay. And we, had to, we attach our DX here. So the, this is the idea that I want you to see. Whenever they're odd, that doesn't matter. It becomes easy when we have squared, but if it's fourth, well, again, uh, uh, nothing, 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 nothing difficult. Again, we, we, we attach our cosine squared of X as this, and then we square that to give us the fourth, because remember, anything squared, squared is just four, right? We're just, all we're doing is multiplying our exponents. Okay, and you could actually see, what if this was cosine to the six of x? Well, this becomes one plus cosine two of x raised to the third power. Okay, hopefully we could get this concept here.